Namaste, my friends, and welcome to a full walkthrough of the Guardians and Galaxy of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Sorry, I'm sounding out of breath right now. I was in a hurry to get to my boarding group. Yeah, they are doing virtual queue right now. Hoping they get to do standby soon. Anyways, here we go. Oh, so, usually I like to call the regular side of the queue the standby queue. Yeah, I know right now it's virtual queue, but yeah, normally I call it the standby. Yeah, that fits a bit better. Anyways, behold, the thing that knocks your galactic socks off, the Wonders of Xandar Pavilion. Oh my goodness. 
Zandarians also travel by water. Our city boasts an extensive canal system, ranging from larger ones, which serve as the main pathways, to narrow ones, which connect citizens to residential neighborhoods. It's an efficient way to navigate Zandar. Our cultural and art centers are renowned throughout the galaxy. Zandar offers a variety of entertainment. Oh, better luck next time, I guess. Yeah, I know there was going to be a hidden Mickey in there. I could have sworn there was. Largest import export hub in the entire Andromeda galaxy. The wall here represents our galaxies, the Milky Way, the Phoenix War, and many more, etc., etc. Here's the Knob Corp Star Blaster. You can pause the video if you want to read this. Other than that, let's keep going. The Knob Corp Star Blaster is displayed at the front entrance of Cosmic Rewind, also known as the Zorgos of Xander Pavilion, also known as the original home of Ellen's Energy Adventure and the Universe of Energy. We still miss that ride the day, but it will always be in our memories. Right here are the Nava Corp suits. The armor is placed over the standard uniform and this is Centurion Talmir. He's voiced by Terry Crews. You may recognize him from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. He played Earl, the officer, in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. He's the same actor as Centurion Talmir in this one. There's the Star Charter, Class 8. Oh, wait, Class B. Oops. And here's Star Charter Class A. Now I thought, it was, I thought the bill was an eight for a second. I tend to get things a bit mixed up sometimes. There's a Star Jammer, Star So this ride does feature a few Ellen Easter eggs, Ellen's Energy Adventure, but I don't want to explain it right now. I don't want to explain because I don't want to spoil it. Oh, yeah, he does. He really hates me. So, how did you find these other two? There's the Milano ship. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, honestly. Still near to this thing. Terms. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided 
to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. <laughs> Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? Parents. I'm on. Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. <laughs> Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this. Yes, so what he means is, well, it's okay to record, just do not use any external lighting is all. before, but since your molecular structure is very similar to Zandarian's, it should work. It'll work. So long as you are standing inside the lighted ring, you do not want to know what happened last time someone did not stand where I told them to, okay? Stand by for teleportation. Okay. 
power is down, and I've got to get these Terrans onto evacuation shuttles. I got it. I reprogrammed the shuttles to follow them through the jump point. Wait, what? Yes, look, they're our only chance of keeping track of that black job until we get the cosmic generator back. Piece of cake. What? There's cake. Where's the cake? The odds are impossible. Yep. But it's our only shot. Good luck. Are you sure you can control it? Come on, it's me. We got this. We're all toast. First there was cake, now there is toast. This plan is making me so hungry. Legitimately amazing. You guys gotta try this. But since this is that virtual queue again, you will have to be at the Lion Disney Experience app either at 7 a.m. sharp or 1 p.m. sharp. I highly advise you to be five minutes early before that hour begins. Like for example, if you're gonna do the 7 a.m. window, get on to the app at 6.55 or earlier. And keep tapping refresh until it says join virtual queue. Then, it'll be time to save the galaxy, hopefully. Yep, down there's the boring area. And I gotta say, Chris Pratt nails it as this Peter Quill. There's the safety board. Those little lines might 
seats there, they are for the row requests. For example, if you'd like a front row or back row, you'd be directed to lines A, B, or C in either side of the, of the boarding room. Anyways, time for us to save the galaxy. Pixie dust, and off we go!
Ultimate by Nero's Fun. Yes, the treasures of Xander's. My establishment has everything you desire. From the trinkets to treasures. So there's little food too? Okay, that makes sense. In the dancing group. I don't think they're selling that. And the I am a great mug. And the group oh, flower pot, I think. The group plant pot. I like this. This is cute. And there's the orb, the tesseract. Local gear. Iron Man gauntlet. Response times may be Isn't this fun, Groot? And little fridge magnets over here. And the Star Blaster. Well, that concludes our tour of Treasures of Xandar. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. Stay safe, everyone. See you real soon.